Hi, my name is Sam Taggart with Sales Expert, and I am here going to explain what the number two biggest pitfalls people make when trying to set the stage when they're in the home selling. So we master in in-home selling, direct sales, face-to-face -face selling, and we have tons of free content if you just click the links in the description. But what we're gonna go over today is really monumental for my sales career. And I'm gonna tell a story simply of what not to do first, because it just happened to be about two weeks ago. I had a rainbow, a rainbow vacuum lady come sell me a, a vacuum. Well, she didn't close me. But what happened was she comes into my house, it's a Saturday morning, and the last thing I wanna deal with is some salesperson, right? Well, I love it because I love sales. But anyway, normal person's the last thing I wanna deal with. So she goes on to talk, my wife's upstairs nursing and she thinks that maybe if I just hang out for an hour, the wife will finish nursing and uh, maybe I'll then do my sales presentation. I knew I had about a 45 minute time limit. So she goes on to talk for about 45 minutes about nothing where I had to, I, I just wanna see how she did. I'm gonna critique her, I'm gonna give her some feedback at the end. So the biggest pitfall that we make is we build too much rapport and we enter into what we call the friend zone meaning we're creating too much rapport and they're now losing trust in us to be a professional closer, a professional salesperson, and they actually check out. So now I'm checked out with this rainbow vacuum lady and you know the whole idea was to get this free little humidifier she was gonna give me. So I was like, okay, give me the presentation, I want the free humidifier. But she never set the frame to say my goal in this presentation is to go over some information about this new bigger vacuum and at the end decide whether that's a good vacuum for you to have or not. She never set the frame. Like I was like, where are you going with this? Why am I sitting here for 45 minute presentation when I just want my freaking free gift? Cause that was the frame I had. That was like the perception that I went into this demo with. And so at the end I was kind of like thrown for a loop when she asked for a $3,000 vacuum. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to buy a $3,000 vacuum. I just want my free humidifier because that's what you came for, wasn't it? And so I had no intention to buy because she never set the intention to close me. So the two principles that I want you to learn from this is one, don't build too much rapport. Build enough rapport to say, look, I care about you as a human being. You should care about me as a human being because I'm not just like a robot salesperson. And then the second one is you need to have the intention to sell. Meaning at the very beginning, sit down and tell them I am not here to try to get a maybe. So I simply say a line like this. Look, I want you to play devil's advocate. I want you to come up with all the reasons not to do this by the end. And if you can think of one good reason at the end, don't do it. But if you can't think of any good reason, you have to do it. Does that sound like a fair game? Does that sound like a fair deal? And they're like, well, yeah. So my job is to just smash every concern they're probably gonna have and help them see why they're gonna do this. And then by the end, I'm like, well, would there be any reason in the world you wouldn't do this today? And they would say either yes, or no. And at that point, I don't want a maybe, I don't want to think about it, I don't want a card, because I've already set the intention at the beginning, I'm gonna ask for your business, and so we're either doing this or we're not doing this. That's why I'm here. So that is how you set the stage at the beginning of a sale, and I promise you, if you do that effectively, you will have a much higher closing percentage. So, we're here with a bunch of tree, free training videos. Click the link below. Share this if you got something out of it. But we have a bunch of free content on our website, so check out the links below. We're here to help you out.